Hey everyone, Brickhouse here. Um, seems like lately, everything's been Anheuser Busch, Bud Light, or Disney with horrible news. Um, you know, Disney, they've been um, doing some layoffs here the past few months. They were, they, they needed to, According to Bob Iger, they need to cut about 7,000 jobs. Well, looks like um, one of those jobs was the director of last year's animated flop, Lightyear. I'm pulling this one. This one's been in a couple different places, but I'm pulling this one from Breitbart.com. Pixar cuts director of Lightyear right before anniversary of Woke Films box office disaster. Walt Disney's Pixar Animation Studios has cut 75 jobs, including two executives behind Lightyear, a woke revisionist take on a beloved Toy Story character that ended up being a box office failure. Which, for Disney, seems to be par for the course here with movie after movie after movie here lately, just bombing in theaters, just totally bombing in theaters. Walt Disney's Pixar Animation Studios. I just read that paragraph. Anyway, sources told Reuters of the job cuts on Saturday, which mark the first major job eliminations at the legendary studio in 10 years. By year director Angus McLean had worked at Pixar as an animator for 26 years. He was part of the senior creative team on films like Toy Story 4 and Coco. Lightyear producer Galen Sussman had been at Pixar since the release of the original Toy Story film in 1995, according to Reuters sources. Additionally, Michael, I'm going to just butcher this name, Ag Agulnik. Pixar's vice president of worldwide publicity since 2015 was also laid off. The report said the job cuts took place on May 23rd and reportedly part of Walt Disney's chief executive Bob Iger's plan to scrap 7,000 positions and slash 5.5 billion in costs. Lightyear was released during Pride Month last year and the animated feature, which cost more than 200 million to make, bombed at the box office all over the world. The film reportedly brought in a mere $226.7 million in worldwide ticket sales, a horrible outcome given that 2018's Pixar's The Incredibles 2 raked in $1.2 billion worldwide with an equivalent production budget. Major factors contributing to the film's flop include Pixar ditching conservative voice actor Tim Allen, who has played Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story and its three sequels over the span of two decades, in favor of Wolf Marvel star Chris Evans. Also, it was ineligible for release in 14 Middle Eastern and Asian countries as it featured LGBTQQIAAP2S plus content. Are they adding more letters to that? And it's a legitimate question. We've gone from LGBTQIA or LGBTQ to IA plus to QQI. It, it can't keep up with it. As Breitbart News previously reported, the same-sex kiss was restored to the final cut of Lightyear after the LGBTQQIA22 plus employees and their allies complained that Disney executives had censored over overtly gay affection in the company's films. What? The film's queer romance was more than just one scene, however, the plot retcons Buzz Lightyear's nemesis and per Zerg to be multiverse copy of himself, whom Buzz must defeat to make sure Zerg does not travel back in time and erase the lesbian romance of his friend Alicia and thus the life of her granddaughter Izzy. Wow. Glad I didn't see that one. And it's not that I'm anti-LGBTQ, but it just, again, it's, this is another example of Disney pushing identity politics into something that is supposed to be entertaining. They probably could have done without that storyline. 
The last time Pixar Jobs cut, cut Jobs was in 2013 when it eliminated about 30 positions after the studio postponed the release of the 2015 film The Good Dinosaur and laid off its director, Bob Peterson, Reuters noted. Meanwhile, Disney's laying off employees in every division, including film and television, streaming services, and theme parks, and Pixar's next film, Elementals, tracking to be a light year level flop at the box office. So, feel free to comment down below. Um, do you think the cuts should have been made due to... Do you think the cuts were made due to light year bombing? Or do you think these people were going to get laid off anyway? Um, so... Again, comment down below, share your opinion. Please like this video. Smash that like button. If you like the content that I'm putting out, the things that I'm covering, best way you can help out the channel is to like videos, comment, also subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell to get notified when my content gets uploaded on a daily basis to YouTube, even though I did miss yesterday. Had some stuff going on. Um, so you can catch me here on YouTube, you also over on Rumble and Odyssey, and as always, thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you later.